prestige god. Somebody tell me. Tell me how both of my start of the season prestiges get two brand new insane cards in the Easter promo. All for our final season of Wheel of Mutt. By the way, I don't know if you guys watch AOT, but someone on Twitter made this sick graphic. I put it on my IG story. That is fire. Had to start the video out with that. Let's get into the meat, the sauce, the filet mignon of today's Wheel of Mutt. 99 gold Jalen Ramsey and Easter Limited. An absolutely cracked six foot one, 208 pound beast of a corner. Undoubtedly getting added to this squad because I've got the prestige, baby. God, I'm built like that. Literally every single prestige, my starting three prestiges were incredible. Metcalf, who as a wide receiver was amazing in most feared, then got a corner who helped our team out a lot and now gets another wide receiver in Easter. Jalen Ramsey got God tier cards throughout the whole season and Darren Waller started the year with a limited that was God tier and then got team of the year and he's still amazing. So I really couldn't have asked for much more for my prestigious. Here is that new DK Metcalf. Low key, this is gonna sound sad. I actually think that DK Metcalf corner is so good that I that I want to keep it. But I want to use this DK wide receiver. So I'm taking DK Metcalf corner out. I'm putting wide receiver DK Metcalf in. A lot of speed, a lot of chumps. So we got Cooper Cup, the grit, high motor, short lead guy. And then we got Ed Tutel Jones, who's six foot seven or eight. Or maybe he's like six ten. Uh, he's gigantic. And then DK Metcalf at 6'3, 230. So a lot of diversity, you might say. You might say I'm a very inclusive, diverse YouTuber. I don't discriminate. You might say that. Some might say that. I'm not saying it. I'm saying some people might say it. Let's go see what this Jalen Ramsey's gonna look like. And as you guys know, the Easter promo is not here. Thank you for your patience. You saw two episodes without Jalen. Jalen Ramsey or DK Metcalf. I apologize. That's just how it is. You guys want daily bangers every single day. Sometimes I got to make them in advance. On top of that, keep in mind, I am on a cruise. I'm on a cruise from the 14th to the 20th. Anything new drops in that time period, Papa Meigs will not be updating. 98 speed, 95 agility, 99 excel, 99 awareness. Absolute monster. 82 tackling is spectacular for a corner. Got good kick return too. Why not? Maybe we'll put him back there. And taking a peek at our team before we upgrade anything, Anthony Barr needs serious plays. I need to make some serious plays with him. That's like, there's no other way to put it. We got to get some shit done with Anthony Barr. Offensive line is still rocky. Rocky is the best word to describe it. They can be good. They're just not that good for this deep into Madden. We're going to be pretty much exclusively playing 95 plus overall teams unless we get absurdly lucky. All right. And I updated the wheel. You can see there's Easter stuff on here. We got Easter colors. Let's see what we can get on our first wheel spin. Oh, you guys have played Weddle, right? If you guys haven't played Weddle, it's a very simple game. It is just like Wordle, but for NFL players. If you play neither, let me explain super quick how this is gonna work. So this is Weddle, the NFL player guessing game. Every single day on a 24 hour cycle, there is one player of the day. So let's pretend the player of the day is Darren Waller. I can select out of most any offensive player in the NFL here. So the player of the day is Darren Waller, let's say. If I were to choose Travis Kelsey, the game would tell me you got the position correct. You got the height very close, but you got the team wrong. So I know in my head, okay, it's a big tight end, but not for the Chiefs. Maybe it's, you know, whatever. Then you go down the line. The way this works is my budget starts at 300,000 Madden coins. Every guess that I use subtracts 50,000 coins. So if it takes me two guesses and then on my third guess, I get the player right. I get 200K to spend on one player. 300K minus my two guesses at 50K each. If it takes me seven guesses, I'm literally getting no one. All right, let's do this. Weddle, I'm actually gonna start out with AJ Brown. Hey, hey. All right, so I'll tell you what this means if you never played. The player of the day is 24 years old. That's what the green means. Yellow means they're within two units and down. So our player is either six foot tall or five foot 11, but they are not six foot one. Their number is higher than 11. They are not a wide receiver. They're not in the AFC and they do not play for the Titans. It could be a quarterback. It could be a quarterback. It could be like a Kyler Murray. You know what I'm going to guess? I'm going to guess the other AJ. I'm going to go AJ Dillon. Let's go AJ Dillon. Okay. So our player is in the NFC North. They are a running back. They're 24 years old. They're exactly five foot 11. Their Jersey number is higher than 28. They do not play for Green Bay. So they're either a Viking, a lion, or a bear, because it's the NFC North. It could be DeAndre Swift or David Montgomery. I'm so tempted to guess DeAndre Swift, but I'm pretty sure DeAndre Swift is like literally my height. I think DeAndre Swift's like five foot nine. Dude, I think it's David Montgomery. I think I'm gonna get on my third guess. I think we're gonna have 200K here for a corner. David Monty G! Let's go! Monty G! Hey, and by the way, 
just so you know, so people can't be up my ass, you can only play this game once per day. So it's not possible that I played it, cheated, and then... I mean, I guess I could have gone on, like, Twitter and figured out the answer, but I didn't. That was fucking legit. Let's go. 200k for a corner back. Diggs, 129. Marshawn Lattimore, 129. Aaron Glenn is the first 97 at 156. Asante Samuel, 159. Asante Samuel. Great stats. 5'10", 180. I train Lane as a menace, dude. He really is. It's just like nobody in their right mind who plays Madden right now has ever watched this dude play. If I didn't play Madden, I wouldn't fucking know who this dude is. I'm sorry. I have the male Alexa now, because I hated the woman. I'm gonna have the male Alexa choose for me. One is Asante Samuel, two is Night Train Lane. Echo, pick a number Sorry, one through- something went wrong. Can I f How did you just change voices? Echo, pick number one through two. Here's a number between one and two. It's one. He picked one twice, and you guys definitely heard that. Let's go. All right, so it's Asante Samuel. I think Madden-wise, I do think Night Train Lane is better, but this is cool, bro. Like, this is a current player. Some of you might be big fans of Asante Samuel. I probably can't say the same thing for Night Train Lane. So. But Papa Meeks, that's so not meta, dude. You're not running the meta sweaty cheesy plays that I saw on throne.youtube.tv. We'll go Acrobat Asante Samuel. Actually, dude, it's massive that we got that guess on that because the cheapest Asante Samuel was one. 159. Asante Samuel, welcome to the squad. You get a 20 AP limit on defense now. So we got, we got acrobats all over the field. Let's have some fun. All right, boys, if I could choose when I get in this wheel spin, I think offensive line would be good upgrades. Uh, D-line could take a little bit too if I went left end or right end. And it's... Oh my god, we have to win this game. So, this is really good, but we're not gonna get anything right now at all. This Easter promo, as you guys saw, I posted a bunch of Easter videos. I'm fucking in love with it. You probably saw all of them before this Wheel of Mutt, so you get the gist, but this Easter promo is just like the Christmas promo, where there are these mystery Easter eggs that won't open, I believe, until Easter Day. Keep in mind that we'll be, obviously, on the cruise for this, so there might be, like, a two-day delay or something, but whatever. We're gonna get some sick shit. The candy store. I get three large eggs. These have a chance of being extravagant eggs, which are oftentimes a lot better. The way I check how good I think an egg is going to be is by the quick sell value. Some of these extravagant eggs quick sell for like 16k. Some quick sell for like 70k. So you know some are better than others. I'm going to get three of these. Assuming I win today, I get these three players added to my team after they hatch. The first one just went to fucking infinity. I hate that. Alright, let's see what it was. I'm praying it wasn't just a large egg. Let's hope it was extravagant. Newest is a large egg. Very colorful. It kind of Looks like it would be a limited player, no? It's a, just a large egg. There's no way it's a gold 99 limited, right? I am going off the assumption that most large eggs are like a 96 overall player. If they're not, if I get like a 90 plus, I am gonna be depressed. The next one, extravagant, come on, baby, let's go! And this one, I know what this one is. You can see it in there. You look in the bottom, I talked about it in the pack opening. There's an outline there, it says Redux. I think this is a 95 or 96 plus Redux player. So that is a guaranteed super heater. And our third one, oh, give me a rare ass one, dude. Give me something weird. Give me something weird. What do we got? That is a fucking full ultimate legend. I would bet my ass on it. I've never seen this egg. Tell me that black and gold does not look exactly like Sean Taylor's card art. 37,700, bro. That is a full ultimate legend. The team is all set. You guys already know the team. I really didn't add that much other than Asante Samuel. That leaves the challenge wheel, and we are adding a new rule to the challenge wheel. I don't want, number one, let me just say this first. 100 yards with a backup. That's our challenge. So any backup player needs 100 yards from scrimmage. I'm thinking it's going to have to be Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk is my backup wide receiver. I'll sub him in for Ed Tutel Jones and try and get him the ball a lot. That's probably the best way I could do that. The new rule for the challenge wheel. I have three options if I complete a challenge wheel. One, open a pack with coins. Two, salvage a player if I lose. And three, an upgrade for my power up player. Everybody was tossing in suggestions and I think it's a great idea. So if I complete my challenge, and I don't want to open a pack. Holy shit, is that his top three? It'll be like that for the rest of the entirety of Wheel of Mutt, too. I'll re-explain these rules at the start of Madden 23, but that is a brand new rule to Wheel of Mutt, and I think it's a great one. Check, Barrett's in the middle here. Not entirely sure how that happened. He must have became myself. That is PA boot over, dude. Could you guys fuck off? Oh, he put something new on it. He's going for the deep corner route. This is good news. That's mine. Go, Madden, I shot T. Turn over to start this bitch out! Let's go, Sean T! <coughs> uh, oh! <coughs> I just got AIDS in the middle of that shit! No! <coughs> the fuck! God, every single kid who runs PA boot over is 
as soon as it doesn't work, they quit. Get shit on! That's a lock! Literally one of the quickest rage quits I've ever gotten, but it is undoubtedly a rage quit. He usered his whatever he was trying to do, and then he's gone. All right, boys, that leaves us with the rage quit wheel. Couldn't complete my challenge wheel. Didn't really have a choice, but we're gonna get to add to the team with whatever the hell this is. It's, oh, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Anthony Barr is saved regardless. So two training levels. I can actually use this on anyone that is a power up player. See, I think they're gonna release an Ultimate Legends Bo Jackson. So for example, had they released Ultimate Legends Bo Jackson, I could use this on Bo Jackson, but they haven't released that as I'm recording this video and I don't have anyone else to upgrade. Anthony Barr kind of just got saved anyway. All right, so we're gonna get two freebie training levels for Anthony Barr just to kind of get him on his feet. He goes to a 78 overall there and this takes him to an 80. Next upgrade is an 82, so yeah, he is uh, nothing to be desired. He's certainly not a stud yet, but I know that when we max out this Anthony Barr, all of our hard work will pay off because he's gonna be a freak show. And you should know the rules by now. We have one more spin. We're gonna play one more game due to the rage quit. Let's see what we're playing for on this next game. It's a draft class jackpot. Oh shit. So as you guys should know by now, if I get a rage quit and it's that early, I will play another game, but I don't do two wheel spins. I just do one. The reason I do that is because I already get a rage quit wheel and I'm scared of making the team too good too fast. Either way, Echo, name a random number eight, three, 21. Here's a number between 8 and 21. It's, it's nine. 9. Wait a second. Is that the fucking super stacked draft class? Wait a second. What draft class is that? Dude, there's one that's so stacked. I don't think that's it, actually. Matthew Stafford. This actually, now that I remember, was not a very good draft, which is a bummer, but it's what Echo said, so we gotta do it. So Stafford was one. Number two was Jason Smith. Three was Tyson Jackson. Four was Aaron Curry. Five was Mark Sanchez. Are you noticing a trend? It's a bunch of fucking busts. Round one, pick 13, Brian Arakpo to the Washington Redskins. They were the Redskins at the time. I'm not racist, although I am. Yeah, we're going Clay Matthews here. I like that. What pick was he? He was the 26th pick in the first round. Damn, there's not a single Redux Matthews up? Kind of a bummer, but I'm pretty sure this quick sells. Yeah, this quick sells for 250K. It's 317K. It's like a rental for 70K. I would way rather do that. Here's what we're doing. Shaq Barrett with edge threat as my left end. Clay Matthews will actually be my left outside line. All right, boys, we're ready for another game. I'm going to use the same challenge as last time. I think that's fair. I didn't really get to use it. Uh, so we still need a hundred yards from scrimmage with a backup. And now with three and one in our season, it's looking good. 99 just, uh. oh, okay. That's actually really good news. That was not nearly as good is the team we played last time. First and 10, he's in tight end attack. Oh, he's not waiting three bar. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. All right, he might run that inside zone again. No. Cross the middle. He's not open. Oh, Matthews, wait, wait, pitch it back. That's Anthony Barr. No, no, no. <laughs> Perfectly telegraphed that Clay Matthews made an insane play. Oh my God, I'm just gonna hand this. I don't even want the touch out with both. <laughs> All right, we're going for two. You know, I love to go for two here. I think this could be a very, very good game. Oh, Palmer's taking off. That's two. I think this could be a very good game for Anthony Barr still, though, unless we get literally another rage quit, which is a good case scenario, too. We already did in this episode get two upgrades for Anthony Barr, so I can't complain that much, but... I already know I'm gonna win this game. This guy sucks. I'll lurk under. I'll wait for them to, oh, oh. Damn, you know what? His run game is good. He should just stick to that. It's a TFL, but not by Anthony Barr. Who was that? William Perry's been amazing, by the way. Let me just say. He's gotta throw. Oh, he doesn't. He can take off. He elects to throw anyway, Isaiah. I'm gonna go get negative yards on this first play. I feel like this game is such a lock for the win that it doesn't matter what I do. What is he doing? I'll take a second and 94. And now we get as many yards as we can with Brandon Ayuk. This is still cover two. I think Brandon Ayuk kind of clears this a little bit. Oh shit, oh shit, Matt. All right, you're not a backup, but at least I can get some form of positive yardage. New idea. We're going to block everyone. We're going to send Cup down the field. We're going to put Ayuk on a curl, and we're going to use our playmaker him and make an insane play, and everyone's going to say, wow, Matt, you're so good at this game. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I have zero yards in the backup. It was so much easier when I had a half, when a running back backup, but I don't think I have a running back backup right now. Anthony Barr, we must do something, bro. We must. 
Oh, there's a lot open. There's a lot open. You are infuriatingly bad, and I still can't make anything happen with Anthony Barr. Let's go. Please, hand it off. Yes! Shit! Shit. This is what you guys pretend I play like. This guy right here. So a good one to bring Ayuk underneath, get him some amount of yards. There's Ayuk! I'll go slant this time, hopefully clears a little higher. Bingo. That's what I'm talking about. Now you can run! Oh! He goes for the headstick, misses, stop and go! Yes, sir! Ayuk! And he gets the stiff arm too! Let me see if this can be a touchdown. Hmm. Well... RB is a touchdown though. Hawkins socks! No! I'm gonna keep clearing him with this slant. If it ain't broke, we don't fix it. Third and two, let's give him the touchdown as well. If he's not gonna guard it, oh, he is gonna guard it! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Take a good angle. I love it. I respect it. Brandon Ayuk, 79 yards, four receptions, five targets. So he cannot get it right now. Our boy, our boy gets open here. Oh, the user. First and goal underneath Ayuk. Come on, man. I just want to bet I can throw right in the middle at Texas, right at his face. Let's go for the sack. Let's get a safety, Anthony Barr. Oh, no. I was right there. I'm so mad, dude. Dude. Bunch of QB spies. No way William Parity gets through 1v5. Right here. He just got through 1v5. I don't really need the touchdown. Yeah, there's just no reason I need it, but wait, I do need those Ayuk yards. That's another 13 for Ayuk. Let's look at player. Brandon Ayuk has 107 yards, seven receptions, nine targets. That's all we needed for our boy. I guess we could potentially go for a touchdown here. I actually think we could hit Darren Waller over the middle. Or not over the middle, but on this crosser. <laughs> That's the last thing I expected. He's gonna try and press Cooper Cup himself. I don't think he's capable of doing that. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. This could be that inside zone he ran before. It's not. Okay, he's gonna roll out. And Clay Matthews is gonna get his... Should I just put Anthony Barr on the edge? He's, he's so good. Keep in mind, though, Clay Matthews is 97 overall and Anthony Barr is 80. So it makes sense that he's shedding tackles like crazy and I didn't get a TFL. Let's just read the defense. Oh, right over the middle. Throw it. Wait, get in front of Anthony Barr. Yes. I'm doing ever I'm doing literally everything I can to get this man the ball. Should be a touchdown Cooper Cup, if I had to guess. I just gotta get to him. Come on, Bar. Fuck my ass, my dick, and my balls, bro. I'm right there. I gotta guess his snap count better. Where are you gonna throw? You gotta throw to one of these, dude. Right? Hey, well, Asante Samuel gets a rep. Hopefully he just picks me off. I might just let him. Oh my wow. god. Poverty used to be a joke we said for bad Madden players, but now you've set the bar so fucking low that I have to invent a new word to divine when players are poverty. You and Mitchell Trubisky are the only people on that. Like, I think he might just take this. Holy shit. Bar, I'm through the middle. Where's Bar? Where is he? I'm just going at two tall Jones again up top. Hopefully we can throw a quick INT. Bingo. Through the middle. Oh, blocker picked up. <sighs> Damn it. I was really hoping he'd throw that, that sit down by the halfback. Here we go. This is it. I'm getting a sack right here. Play action. Yes. Bar. No. And I'm fucking the. Whoa. Wait just a minute. We know he's gonna throw deep. I'll just sit way back here. Oh! Okay, wait, 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 wait. No. Why does Clay Matthews have an interception? I completed my challenge wheel. If I choose, I could give an upgrade to Anthony Barr. And I actually think that's what I'm gonna do. That was a blowout from the start. We already knew that. I mean, I went off with everybody who isn't Anthony Barr. All right, one more upgrade for Anthony Barr due to my challenge wheel. Next stop, 85. Guys, you gotta understand right now, like in that game, he was 81 speed. It's just so hard to use her like that. Hey, either way, boys, I love ya. Absolute blast of a wheel of mud. Hopefully I can come in clutch. Start doing some shit with Anthony Barr in the next episode. But I appreciate you boys. Can't wait to open those extravagant eggs. It's gonna be a banger. But uh, I love you guys. Fat W on today's episode. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.